Hi, today I'll be showing you how to connect your mini gerbil laser controller to your K40. At home you will be receiving a curly case, but today we'll be just showing you how to plug it in. The first step you'll need to do is to turn your K40 off at the wall to make sure it's safe to keep going. You'll then need to unplug your existing controller. There are five connections you'll be needing to make. All of the cables are polarized, so you'll have to plug them in the right way. There are two types of power supplies for K40s. Today we'll be teaching you what to do on the main type, but if yours doesn't look like this, you can refer to our website for more instructions. After you've removed the cables from your existing board, there's only one change you'll need to make for the power supply. And that would be to remove your existing PWM wire on the middle terminal block, which is the second last one right here. It's not critical, but to keep things neat and tidy, we'll cover that up with a bit of tape. We'll be replacing that with the PWM wire we've included in the kit. Ours is green, but yours might be any color. All you'll have to do is plug the male end of the clip back into the second last terminal. Now we're ready to connect the five cables into the mini gerbil. The first one we'll start off with will be the y-axis stepper motor which we'll plug into right here. It'll be a small four pin cable that'll look something like this. Make sure it clicks in. The next one will be a ribbon cable which will look something like this. Make sure that the side with the exposed metal connectors touch the corresponding side in the plug. Up next will be the power supply, which will be the large 4-pin cable, which will look something like this. Again, make sure that that clips in. Up next, we'll need to connect the PWM wire we had previously connected to the mini gerbil. The single wire will connect to the last pin on the corner of the mini gerbil. Finally, we'll be connecting the USB cable to the port on the side. So those are all the connections you'll need to make. Now we're ready to test it out. 